Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey. Welcome to the Fiesta Movement. I don't know what's happening. Woo! Here we go. This is where it all happens, you guys. Right here. I'm Agent Dan Bryan, and this is Fiesta Mission Number One. So for this mission, Ford is sending me to the Cohasset Triathlon where I'll be meeting up with 10-time Olympic medalist Gary Hall Jr. And of course, I will be taking you guys with me. So I've got my goggles and sunscreen and I am ready to go. Hey guys, so I am here now with Gary Hall Jr., 10-time Olympic medalist. Thank you so much for um, being part of my Fiesta mission. I just want to ask you a few questions. The biggest one probably being, how did you get involved with triathlons and this triathlon specifically? This triathlon has been a great fundraising event for uh, a charitable organization that I'm affiliated with, the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. Over the course of the last few years, uh, this event alone has raised about a million dollars for diabetes wow. research. Um, additionally, I serve as the sports marketing director for the Edith Sanford Breast Cancer Foundation. Oh, nice. They have a presence at this triathlon as well, and they raise money for genomics research that will unlock each woman's uh, genetic code for breast cancer research, leading to cures and better treatments. So there's two good reasons right. why I turn up and have a great time and exercise, too. Exercise makes you feel good, makes you a healthier right. person, too, so there's a third good reason. And yeah, just charity in general just makes you feel really great. To, to give back to the community, I guess. This month in the Ford Fiesta mission, we have a theme every month, and this month's theme is fitness. Do you have any advice for someone just starting out a healthy lifestyle? or? Yeah, take like it that? slow. Uh, take it one slow. step at a time, you know? Uh, yeah. it, it's, uh, you know, a lot of fun to exercise. Exerc working out does not have to be a painful experience. Um, and if you pace yourself, uh, it doesn't have to be a painful experience. And uh, if it's a less painful experience, you're more likely to stick with it over the course of a longer period of time. And that's right. really where you see the benefits. And so we encourage people to get involved and get active, um, get up off the couch, and, uh, but don't overdo it, not out of the gates. How has your training changed from when you were an Olympic swimmer to now training for triathlons? Um, Drastically, the difference. Um, I trained up to eight hours a day, six days a week for the Olympics. And uh, for a triathlon, I train occasionally. Um, that may mean uh, once a week. I train for a good cause. Uh, that's my motivation and to maintain some level of health. Um, and um, triathlons are a lot of fun. Uh, that's the yeah. point. Uh, it was possible to have fun at the Olympics, but um, it's a lot more fun. When it's that, a, it's a whole community yeah. event, less pressure you have. We're going to play a Would You Rather game, and this game, I give you two options, and you choose Would You Rather do the first one or the second one. Okay. So first one, Would You Rather go to the past to meet your ancestors, or go to the future to meet your grandchildren? I'd rather go to the future to meet my grandchildren. I agree. Number two, Would You Rather get stuck in an elevator, or run out of gas and get stuck in the desert? These are difficult questions. I'd get stuck in the elevator. I, I have a fear of getting stuck in elevators, but I would have to agree. It's not going to kill you. Exactly. And finally, would you rather fly or teleport everywhere? Teleport. Teleport done? Okay. No TSA. Oh, I mean like flying, like like Superman flying. Oh, I see. Uh, teleport. Teleport zone? Yeah. Okay. I support that, actually. Yeah. It's fast, quick and easy. Less so. effort, yeah. Exactly. Okay, so I headed over to Twitter and asked you guys if you had any questions for Gary. And Julie L. Dial asks, how does having diabetes affect your work ethic and drive? Having diabetes, uh, like any other condition, requires uh, additional steps. Um, but after years of managing it, uh, it's about as inconvenient as brushing your teeth in the morning or washing your hands. Um, so uh, if you go through these necessary steps, then everything's fine and uh, you're able to go about your normal business. Um, 
even if your normal business involves uh, a lot of strenuous activity and exercise. And how was it when you first got diagnosed? Um, I was told by two doctors when I was first diagnosed uh, that it would be the end of my swimming career. Um, it clearly was not. It was not, unfortunately. <laughs> clearly. And, um, and so, yeah, I, there's a lot of other people out there, great role models that are demonstrating that uh, diabetes doesn't have to stand between a person and their dreams. Right. And so uh, I think that's the takeaway message. Uh, there's a little extra effort involved in managing the disease, but um, if you do that, anything's possible. And you've shown that it's, it is possible. So, all right. Thank you, Gary, so much for your time. Thank you, um, Men's Journal and Ford Fiesta. Um, see you tomorrow at the triathlon. See you out there. Good luck. All right, you guys. So it is now 5:30 in the morning, and we are heading to the triathlon. We just got here, and it is time to part with Mystique. But um, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun time. Bye, bye, Mystique. I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. All right, you guys. We just got to the race, and they start off with a quarter mile swim. Then they head over to the transition area, and they get their bikes. 12 mile bike ride and they come back to the transition area and they go for a 5k run which is 3.1 miles so they got a lot to look forward to and I got a lot to look forward to it's gonna be exciting they're about to start in a couple minutes so it's about to get crazy Brian what's your what's your review of this triathlon so far before it starts Nice what do you think? Out. It's nice. This is a gorgeous day. It turned out really nice. So um, I bet all these people are gonna have a great day. We can raise some money for some great charity events, and charity foundations. So um, yeah, it's an overall amazing cause. First wave is starting. I'm so excited. I've never been to a triathlon before. Yes. Three, two, one, go! All right, guys, Gary's right back there. It's his time to go. All right, guys, there goes Gary. There he goes. His wave. Three, one. Woo! Yeah, Gary! Woo! And we're off. First transition. We need more cheering! We need cheerleaders. We got some runners coming through. Woo! All right, you guys, I am about to go put my feet in the water. This is so exciting. I got my GoPro right there. I'm gonna stick you guys down there and let's freaking go. Gotta get some excitement into this. Holy, oh my God, it's so cold. It's so cold. Holy, they just swam in this? What? This is a frigid. Guys, just wanted to stop in. The race is about to end, and we're gonna go into the closing ceremonies and awards, and and I'm probably gonna call it a day after that. So crazy, crazy day. All right, you guys, the race is officially over. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow me, fiestamovement.com/agent/molo610, and I will see you on my next mission. Okay, bye.